so i have been coding like almost like five years from now and i remember like where i get started programming it took me around more than one year to get start and get familiar with the programming and the reason is that because at that time i didn't had any idea like where to get started then what are the thing i should learn and what are the thing i should avoid so due to that it took me around more than one year and the knowing what i know right now and i definitely know it will take like two to three months to get start and get familiar with the programming and you don't want to waste your time almost like one and a half year so thought of that i was think to i was think to do a kind of a video about how i am going to start programming over again if i have to start from the zero and also this is a kind of a content and which i wanted to in those days and where i was stuck at programming and without having any idea like where to start programming To get started with the programming, first thing you need to do, you need to choose a well-balanced programming language and then after that you need to be good at variables, condition, classes, method and also you need to understand how the heap work and what is a stack, what is a queue, those kind of stuff. If I have to recommend a language, I will recommend Java all the time of the day. Reason is that it comes with the well-balanced complexity but it doesn't mean that java is the most hardest language also java is not the easiest language with java you will get a pretty good solid understanding about programming and its nature i saw like most of people recommend to learn python if you are going to learn programming from the beginning reason is that python is easier to understand and easier to code but it doesn't mean python is good to choose as very own first programming language if you need to understand programming the thing is in python most of things have already done for you by the language even you do not have a very good solid idea about the programming you can still do programming with python but do not get it wrong i am not telling the python is a dumb language python is a really amazing language and you can do almost everything with python it's like a, another universe okay you can so we will talk about python in a future video what i am telling is it is a not good language to understand programming if you are starting from the zero so another benefit of learning java is after you learn java then you are trying to move to another language that will be much easier than you think for example after you learn java then you are going to learn python you will be able to code python in a very short of time but if we think the opposite side like after you learn python then you are going to learn java you will not understand most of containing java then you will have to restart all over again to learn java so there is a one more thing i need to tell if you are 100 percent sure that you are going to work on only one language in your time as a developer or software engineer for example if you're going to do development based on only python then don't waste your time by learning java just keep studying python and then you are good to go but if you are like me and if you do not sure what kind of a language you are going to work on future and you need to stick to different different languages for example when you start your career as a software engineer you will realize different companies use different different languages they have their own unique tech stack and if you need to dynamically change to those languages within time to time i highly recommend to learn java and get a very good solid understand about programming and then like i said moving to another programming language will not be a big deal after you have a good experience with java and the programming all right so now you know the language and the next thing is to learn java how are you going to learn java so there are so many resources in the internet you can learn especially youtube there are so many content and so many channels which are trying to teach you about java but personally i'm not recommend you to learn java from the youtube because at that time while i'm doing some research i didn't found any good content in youtube based on java because most of channels are just covering the very basic of the java and some channels even didn't cover the very basic of object oriented programming 
so if you need to be good at programming you need to must have a very good understanding about java and very good solid understand about object oriented programming so if you don't have any good understand about this concept and you can't be good at programming so the way I'm going to recommend you to learn Java is from a book. There is a great book called Head for Java and that book is a great resource for you to learn Java. Alright, so this is the book which I recommend you to learn Java and to learn programming. And this, and this book is called Head for Java and this is a really amazing book. And this is the my favorite book in my book collection and even for today, even I didn't do coding with the Java and I, I, I still used to read this book for some time because it doesn't teach you Java, it teaches you the whole concept of programming. So that's the really important thing about, about this book. They have explained like every concept in Java and every concept in programming in a very simple manner by using the real world example with and so much funny content. So then the readers can get a really good solid idea about the whole concept about programming and the Java. So this is the second edition of this book and and this book based on Java 5.0. But even this book uh, covered to Java 5.0, but this book is, is still relevant for now because after Java 5.0, for now there is not much deeper in the language. So you can, uh, you can still use this book to learn programming and to learn Java. And I remember, and as I remember, like there is a third edition of this book, but I'm not sure about that. Uh, you can just search, and if there's a third edition, I recommend to buy this book. And if it, if there isn't a third edition, and even this book is also relevant for today, I bought this book from the Sarasai Bookshop in Sri Lanka. It cost me around like five thousand rupees, nearly five thousand rupees, not more than five thousand rupees, nearly five thousand rupees. But I uh, don't know about the current price of this. And you can also buy this book from the Amazon also. Why not? So, but in Sri Lanka, there is a kind of a huge tax on that. Actually, tax is more than the price of the book. Right? But I think there can be, I think in Sri Lanka, you will still be able to find the, like copy uh, this book from the bookshops. I found this book from the Sarasai bookshop and you can also give a try. But if you don't have money and if you didn't able to find this book and don't worry there are so many free content in the internet you can download this book as a PDF. But if you have money highly recommend to get this book and because this is the kind of a book you must have in your book collection even you are experienced developer or you are getting start from the zero. Alright so if you see the table of content of this book and you can see in the first as in the first lesson they are giving kind of introduction about the java and then after that in the second lesson you are getting the hands on experience of bit oriented programming and then you are going to about variables and then you are going to learn about how the object behave while the program is running and then you are going to get a good idea about methods and libraries and also you are getting the more deep understand about object oriented programming also then you are going and then you are going to get hands on experience with polymorphism interfaces inherited and abstract classes those kind of stuff and then you are getting a very good solid idea about like error handling with as a risky behavior till to lesson 11 they are giving like almost like the the concept you must know in programming and you must know in every other language after the lesson 11 you are getting hands on experience in the lesson 12 you can see like you are going to develop your, your very own first gui application using java and then you are going to learn about networking threads and internet how the web development works and then you are going to learn about data structures and those kind of stuff actually this is a masterpiece to learn programming Alright, so now you know the language and now you know the resource to learn and for the lastly, I will give you some 5 tips and I hope these 5 tips will help you to get a more solid understanding about programming and it will help you to get much quicker understand what you are trying to learn and what you are trying to understand. So, tip number 1. Alright, so tip number 1 is don't just read the book without keep practicing. Alright. So while you get the book or while after you download this book, you will realize there are so many activities and examples for each every lesson. Without just reading those lessons and get your laptop or desktop what you have and try to implement those activities by yourself and see those are working as expected. So if you got stuck then try to read that relevant content from the book and then again give a try. 
and that is a great way to learn programming and also you cannot learn programming without coding so if you need to understand programming you must code you cannot learn programming without coding so that is tip number one so keep coding and don't just read the book and the tip number two so tip number two is uh, uh, I don't remember the tip number two <laughs> okay ah, yeah. so tip number two is don't focus on multiple language in the same time so that is a kind of a huge mistake which I did at those days because when I'm trying to learn programming in fast in fast years so I was try to so I was try to learn multiple language in the same time so I started to learn JavaScript and Python in the same time. So in the morning time, I started to learn JavaScript and the evening, I started to learn Python. At the end of the day, like all the things are getting messed in my mind and sometimes while I'm doing coding, I'm trying to put some Python logic in JavaScript code and also JavaScript code in the Python logic. So it's a huge mess and it's a huge mistake which I did. So don't do that mistake by yourself and just keep focusing on a one language, all right? just keep focus on learning java and don't try to learn any other language even the greatest language have arrived you don't just focus on that just focus on learning java and then you are good to go so that is tip number two all right so the next thing is tip number three so tip number three is draw your own picture what does that mean draw your own picture yes draw your own picture it doesn't mean like get a pen and paper and draw your own picture so what I'm telling you is uh, while you are learning some concept, for example, if you are learning about polymorphism, okay, so while you're learning about polymorphism, you are getting a kind of an image in your mind about polymorphism, right? So don't just keep that image in your mind, just get a pen and paper and draw that image with that paper and then try to explain that concept for yourself. Believe me, you will be able to understand the content you are reading much faster than you think and give a try and you will be amazed so that is tip number three all right so and the next thing is tip number four tip number four is be your own teacher so what does that mean so be your own teacher mean after you learn about some content then try to teach that concept to yourself so teaching is a great way to understand some concept or under, to memorize the concept for a long time so highly recommend that after you learn about something then teach that concept for yourself so that is tip number four all right so tip number five tip number five is project 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 all right so all right so tip number and this is anyway so tip number five tip number five is project 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 all right so you cannot be good at programming without doing project projects are a great way to understand programming and it's a great way to understand your weakness after you finish this book and you are done with the all the example and activities in this books then it's time to start your own project so think about a project and start working on that project. If you cannot think about project and if you can't to get kind of an idea about the project to build, then get help from ChatGPT and ask about a kind of a project which is relevant to your knowledge. And then start working on that project and get a good understand about what you are doing. So it's a really important thing and doing projects is a really important thing to be good at programming. So those are the five tips which I gave you to you and I hope those five tips will help you to get a really good understanding of programming and to get a solid and, and to learn programming much quicker than you think. Alright, so finally you learn the programming and you are done and you got confidence to yourself to say alright you can do programming and that is not the end. Then it's time to learn about data structures, algorithm and designing patterns. So those concepts are really important in the programming if you need to be good at programming and you need to find a good jobs as a developer or a software engineer. So I'm not going to cover those concepts in this video. I will cover those content in another video in future. And yeah, that is it for this video. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. Especially I hope you learn something from this video. If you learn Please share the video because others also can learn and if you like the thing i'm doing here make sure to subscribe to the channel and i will see you guys later peace